5 Essential Things Business Owners Need to Know Before Incorporating an SDNBHD The following are the top 5 things that business owners need to figure out before submitting the company registration form to help them successfully register an SDNBHD in Malaysia. Number 1. Company Business and Details A. Proposed Company Names According to SSM or Companies Commission of Malaysia, business owners need to propose a company name that meets the following criteria. Does not imply connections to the royal family or government agencies and authorities. Does not mislead the business nature. Is not profane or possibly offensive. Is not similar to other registered companies. Does not imply connections with operations controlled by other regulations unless approved in writing by the appropriate agency. Does not imply a connection to the activities specified by government bodies or professional agencies unless approved in writing by the appropriate agency. B. Business nature and description. All Malaysian companies use MSIC codes for classification. Business owners who are not sure which category their business belongs to should consult with professional company incorporation agencies. See Business Address and Registered Address. A business address is where the company conducts its operation. While the registered address is typically the office of the company's secretary where notices and communications are handled. Companies without a physical store or office do not require a business address. Number 2. Eligibility of Directors and Shareholders A. Director Both Malaysians and foreigners can register as the sole director and shareholder of an SDNBHD as long as they are 18 years old and above, live in Malaysia and are not disqualified under Companies Act 2016 Section 198. Foreigners who do not live in Malaysia need a minimum of one resident director to register an SDNBHD. B. Shareholder. An SDNBHD can have a maximum of 50 shareholders. After the company is registered and a corporate bank account is opened, every shareholder must transfer the necessary amount to the account based on the number of shares they own. Number 3. Documents required. For identity verification, MyCAD or passport needs to be presented as the required documentation to register an SDNBHD. Business owners intending to register their business through the MyCo ID platform must show their MyCAD or passport at the SSM counter when they first made an account on the platform. Number 4. Paid up capital. The minimum paid up capital to register an SDNBHD in Malaysia is 1 ringgit. Business owners can change the paid-in capital divulged during company incorporation later on. Declaring paid-up capital that the company does not have is illegal. Number 5. Necessary Payment The SSM charges a company registration fee of 1,010 ringgit, including tax. Business owners that opt for a company secretary to register and establish an SDNBHD need to pay a service fee to complete the application form. Getting help from a professional company incorporation firm in Malaysia. Professional company incorporation services streamline the process and ensure the company stays compliant with every regulatory requirement.